In this tutorial we'll be discussing how to use the deco tool in Flash. So create a new file, ActionScript 3.0, and go to your toolbar panel and you'll see you have the deco tool and the shortcut key is U. If you were to look, you have the drawing effects and advanced options. You have three options, vine fill, grid fill, and symmetry brush. First we'll discuss how to use the vine fill. You get these two options called leaf and flower, which if you were to draw, you can see that there's leaves and there's flowers. I'm going to undo this, go back to our deco tool, and you can change the leaf and the flower, or if you like the leaf and the flower, you just want these different colors, you can do that. As you see here, undo that. If we were to um, create a symbol, hold on, um, I'll just do, I'll get the oval tool, and create a small flower, I'm not going to really shape it, I'm just going to leave it like that, convert it to a symbol by pressing F8, let's name this flower, let's delete it off the stage, and if we were to go back to our decal tool, go to edit we can we can use that flower and press ok you get this swap symbol and you'd see that the default shape is unchecked and that's because the default shape in flash is something different um, you can use your own symbol by by just clicking edit same thing goes with the leaf but we're not going to change that if you were to click now you'd see our flower that we just made and it looks ugly but you know I didn't spend too much time on that Let's go back to default shape, and you see we have this advanced options. And the advanced options is the branch angle. If we, if we were to increase this a bit, let's make this mm, it's ugly blue, but you know you can change it. Let's click on the stage now, and you see we change that a bit. It's the branches, the little lines here, not the flower or the or the leaf. If we were to go back to the decal tool, change this back to zero. Now this pattern scale is basically the width of the flower and the leaf and the the branch and it's set to 100%. You can make it bigger if we were to drag this bigger. You'd see that now our shapes are bigger if we were to put this a little smaller, 50%. You see now they're really small. So you can mess with the height with that. Let's set this back to 100%. The segment length is the the length of the flower and, and everything. So I'm gonna put this at eight. If we were to put now, you'd see that it isn't that very long. If we were to undo that, put this back to two. You'd see now they're all smushed up together, and you can hardly see the leaf. Let's put this up a little more. Let's put the if we were to draw again, you'd see our flower now. So the smaller it is, the smaller you have to make your shapes, symbols. And um, if you were to make this big, that you could see it more clear. I'm not gonna bother messing with that anymore. And the last option is animate pattern. If you were to click on the stage, let's put this back at six click on the stage you see on a timeline it's starting to animate all of this and it's gonna take a while you have all this crap and if you were to play this movie control enter you'd see the animation happening undo all of that. Actually I'm just gonna oh now it's like whoops. I'm gonna undo all of this. No. And create a new flash file, action script 3.0. Go back to the deco tool and you can set all these property properties later. Frame step is pretty much how many frames you how fast you want this to go. So 
you can mess with that. I'm going to go to the grid fill now. And you can see we have the same options as last time. If we were to click, we get this grid. Undo that. If we were to go to the deco tool, you can set this to. Oops, I forgot we don't have a. I'll make this again. Convert it to a symbol. Grid. Delete it. Deco tool. Okay. And you can see we have our. Um, our symbol that we made. You could set the spacing between it. The higher, the more space that's going to be, the closer, I mean the lower, that it's going to be closer. So just leave that alone. I just don't mess with it. And the pattern scale is just like last time how big you want it to be. And there's no, that's it, pretty much it for the grid. The symmetry is when you want to create custom um, anime. Um, like copies you can use the default shape or you can just use the um, symbol that you have and if you were to click anywhere you would see that we have this some um, thing going on and you can make a pretty cool animation with this thing and you can rotate this around You can change uh, the angles of all these, and if you want, you can set it to different. You can put reflect across the line, so there can only be a line, and you can only reflect across that line. You can put across point, so anything across this point. So if it's here, it's going to be end up here. It's over here, it's going to end up here. It's just a point. There's nothing special about that one. It's more free. Rotate around is the one we just used. And grid translation is like the grid. And if you were to move this around, you'd see that happening. It's not that good, but it's alright. You could set the width of each of these. And I'm liking right now. I should undo all of this. I'll delete all this. Hold on, sorry for taking a while. Delete it. Go to our deco tool. Grid. You could set these to as long as you want. And make a custom grid. As you can see here. And you have this other option called test collisions. Which means that when you put it on the stage, they will never touch. If you were to check this off, there's a, a possibility that the symbols could touch each other which doesn't happen often but it does if you don't have test collisions on I'm kinda lagging here but you see that we're touching now put test collisions to make sure that doesn't happen but you can't change that after you drew it you have to do it beforehand so it's something to know and that's pretty much it for the deco tool nothing more you can do some pretty cool animations with this but I'm not gonna do that until the animations series so that's it for the deco tool thanks for watching